So the first step in reconstructing arguments was to identify the conclusion. Having decided what the conclusion is, the next step is to identify the premises. And now how do you do that? Similar process. Ask yourself after reading the passage, what are the author's reasons for believing the conclusion? Or what reasons are they or is he or she offering? What are the reasons? Since I've decided what the conclusion, what what are the reasons for that conclusion? And in addition to that, as you're looking for premises, look for those premise indicators. And if when you've gotten them together, try to insert a premise indicator and see if the passage still reads smoothly. My reason is here, conclusion, my reason is, the evidence for this is. Okay, so the premise indicators, the conclusion indicators are going to help you identify the premises and the conclusion. So now we've been through the first two steps. We identify the premises. The, sorry, we identify the conclusion, step number one. Step number two, I identify the premises. And keep in mind, sometimes you're going to find that after you've decided what the conclusion is, you're trying to figure out what the premises are, you can decide that something that you thought maybe was a premise is really the conclusion, and you're going to have to rearrange it. And finally, we hit step three, which is to write it in standard form and refine it. So we, as you're doing this all along, you're going to write the R, you're going to write the premises, write the conclusion below the line in separating them, and you're going to be refining that as you go along. Now, there's a, uh, a, an old story that I need to tell you that's going to help you understand what you need to do with this reconstructing argument. A local rabbi and a priest, you know, for the sake of religious um, understanding, getting together, having their ecumenical outing, and they decide to go to Madison Square Garden to watch some boxing matches. And they're in the in the course of the night, match is about to start, and the two fighters get up there, and the one fighter gets down, genuflex, that is, he gets down on his knee and crosses himself. Now, the rabbi doesn't know what that's all about, so the rabbi asks the priest, Father, what did that mean exactly? And the priest responds to him, Not a damn thing if you can't punch. I mean, the punchline of that joke is the same thing as what we're doing here with argument analysis. You might be able to tell me what a premise is, what a conclusion is, what an argument is, but if you can't identify him, you're not doing anything. So we need to look at a couple of examples, and we need to do some on your own to get used to identifying premises and conclusions before we have to apply this to our philosophical readings.